What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's time for another album review. I've been talking for the last couple weeks that eventually I was going to drop a video where I review the new Sepultura record, Quadra. I am pleased to tell you that I have that record finally. I've listened to it all week, and I'm going to give you my review here in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to remind you guys that if you're watching this on my Instagram page, please follow this page. Don't miss out on anything that I post, and I post a lot of stuff. And if you're watching this on you on YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe and, and hit the thumbs up button on all those videos that you find appealing, and make sure that you hit the notification bell loaded, located up there in that corner. And that way you don't miss out on anything that I post. It gives you a little message and says, hey, this jackass is going live, come and watch. Uh, so we got that out of the way. Let's talk about my Strife video. Thank you to all the thousands of, of people that have, you know, all across the world have been checking out that video, the collaboration between myself and Matthew Scar and my buddy Skylar Tudor. Thank you so much for all the likes, the thumbs ups, the comments, the shares, all of it. It's much appreciated. I love it. I worked my ass off on that song, as did the other two guys. So it's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't seen that yet, you can see that on my IGTV and on my YouTube channel. Please go check those out. Share that around. Share that and send it a message to anybody you think may want to check that out. Because we worked our asses off on it. We want to be seen. There you go. Um, also, if you haven't seen the last video I posted earlier this week where I did the gear rundown on the Jackson Demolition x also known as the Fury, please check that out. It's a great video that's got a lot of cool information if you're into guitars and you follow the um, Jackson line of the Phil Demo guitars. So there you go. Check those out. Don't forget about them. All right. Now, Usa. let's talk about the new Sepultura record, Quadra. It's hard to believe, but this is album number 15 from Sepultura. And as a child, I say child, but as in my teen years, my formative years, Chaos AD was a huge record for me. That was the record that I got interested in Sepultura on. Started backtracking, doing some of the listening on things like Rise and Schizophrenia and Beneath the Remains and then moving forward into Roots and such and such. And Sepultura has always been one of my favorite bands or like one of my top five bands for sure. And I will be the first to admit that after the Sepultura record Alex, I kind of lost track. I stopped listening because I felt like they had kind of moved too far away from what I wanted to hear out of Sepultura, probably because I wasn't mature enough to really fully um, understand what was going on. I was kind of one of those people that was like, they're not thrashy enough and, you know, they're not living up to the Sepultura name, but I've grown past all that good stuff, and I'm pleased to tell you that with this record, I can sit here and tell you that Sepultura is at its finest form, probably that I've seen... I would say since the Nation record, which came out in, I think, 2000 or 2001. And, I, you know, what I can tell you, I understand the trepidation that some people have towards Sepultura where you have to choose a side. And some people say, well, they're still not thrashy enough and, you know, they've gotten kind of a weird sound or whatever. They don't, they don't sound like a rise. They don't sound like schizophrenia. And it's like, all right, look, those days of Sepultura are gone. They're progressing forward. They're trying new things. They're expanding their sound. Just keep an open mind and, and go forward and listen to what they're putting out there before you judge it. And that's what I did here. Um, I heard the first track, Isolation, a few weeks ago when it first dropped, which I guess it's actually been a couple months now. And I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Got a little bit of a synth intro and then it hits into the... It's got that, that power chord intro. But with that main verse riff, I was like, holy shit. This is some stuff here that I could definitely get behind. That driving fast drums. Da -da 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 -da. Wow. Unbelievable. That stuff is nuts, man. It's like the closest to death metal that we've seen from Sepultura in the last 15 years. I mean, it is really, really something special. So, I was intrigued. I heard the next two singles that came out, Means to an End and Last Time. And everything I've heard so far, I was like, this record is going to just rip. Uh, so I had to order it, which it took a couple weeks to get because nobody carried it where I live. I was able to get the Digipack version, which comes with an extra CD. It has an eight-song eight audio disc of various songs from their 30th anniversary show, Alive in Brazil, that took place on June 20th, 2015. 
So it's just audio. There's no DVD or anything like that. So just knowing that it's not a DVD. Let's talk about Quadra. <clears throat> like I said, 15th studio album by Sepultura. It was produced uh, by Jens Borgen. They recorded this in Sweden. They're back uh, with a great label, Nuclear Blast Records. I know that was a little shiny for you guys. Sorry about that. They're back on, uh, like I said, Nuclear Blast Records. And this album has, I think it's 12 songs, and it just freaking rips all the way through. Now, I've seen some reviews. Some other people said, well, the first three or four songs were really thrashy, then it has some softer stuff, and then they have kind of finishes out on kind of a soft note. I don't really agree with that. I think that this is a very enjoyable record. I can put it in, listen to it all the way through, and then hit repeat and go again. Um, there are two songs on here that are instrumentals, which is just guitar on one of them, and then the other one is just guitar, bass, and drums. There's no vocals on either one. But it's a great great record. If I had to give it a numerical unit to represent it, I would give it, out of five stars, 4.5. Just because I think that nothing is ever perfect and you can always find something to complain about, but this is a highly, highly enjoyable record. Now, <clears throat> with this record, what you have to understand is that this is pretty much a new Sepultura. 50% of that Chaos AD lineup is gone. We have Eloy on drums now, who I think this is his second record. He came in on the last record. And this guy has been a shot of B12 to the body of Sepultura. He brought such an intense, frantic, hard-hitting drumming style that it almost kind of makes Sepultura have to step up their game. Um, Andreas's guitar playing has been so underrated in a lot of years because of his classical influences. He's able to draw on that, on this album in particular and really own his style a little bit while expanding the guitar playing that is Sepultura and, and really kind of finely tune that. And Derek's vocals, I think, are the best now that they probably ever have been. There's a couple songs where he's really doing some just clean, strong singing, which we haven't seen like this before done in previous records. He's done some singing, but not like this. Just really, really, um, you know, loud, but very clean and very bold singing. It's, it's really unique and it's good stuff and it really makes for a great listening experience. Production, top notch. Some of the best tones I've heard on a record in years. Guitars are punchy, they're thick, they're clean, they're clear. Very, very clear. Uh, the clarity on this record is, is it's spectacular. I mean, you hear everything. You even hear Paulo's bass where a lot of times the bass will kind of drown out in the mix, but this is very, very uh, recognizable. And the drums are just booming, boom, boom, boom. It sounds freaking cool, man. Really, really well done. Um, so let me give you the, the track listing, and since it doesn't have it on the CD case, I have it on my spare cell phone over here. Now, starting at the very beginning, the first three songs are also singles, and they have videos for those. Isolation, Means to an End, Last Time, Capital Enslavement, Ali, Raging Void, Guardians of Earth, The Pentagram, Autem, Quadra, Agony of Defeat, and Fear, Pain, Chaos, Suffering. The very last song, Fear, Pain, Chaos, Suffering, uh, also features a, uh, a uh, female vocalist named Emily Barreto. I think that's how you say her name. Wasn't really sure if, where she was from. But um, So yeah, you have the first three songs. They released the singles. They have videos corresponding with those. You can check those out on YouTube or on all Sepultura social media sites. Some of my favorite songs, obviously Isolation, because it is just a freaking rager. It's a banger of a song. Uh, Ali, I think, is, is one of the coolest riffs that I've heard, that main riff in the first half of the song, and then it has this cool breakdown, and it's some of the tightest, most punchiest distortion and guitar tone that I've ever heard from any Sepultura record. It's sick. I love it. Raging Void is one of the best songs on the record because the chorus on it is so huge. It just almost beckons to you to sing along with it and just really belt it out and get in, immersed in that song. And I've listened to that song. I actually listened to Ali and Raging Void over and over again as a tandem, just really kind of sinking it in. The Pentagram and Quadra are the instrumental songs. The Pentagram is the full band in instrumental, and then Quadra is basically just Andreas playing a little bit of classical guitar. Now, my favorite song on the whole record is Agony of Defeat. It's a great, slow, creepy kind of beginning, but it builds into this awesome song, and it has this great singing 
that's another one of those examples of great singing by Derek Green, which I think is really, really key to this record being so successful. And <clears throat> one of the cool things about Sepultura in the, I guess, the last few years is that they've really kind of moved away from a lot of that background percussion that was very prevalent uh, and very pro prominent on the Chaos AD and Roots records. Now they've replaced that with a lot of orchestration, a lot of voices, woodwind instruments, a lot of stringed instruments, and it's not something that just fills up noise, or like fills up a void of sounds in the background. It's like the fifth instrument to Sepultura. It really has kind of grown into its own element where it helps to kind of really uh, bring, bring the songs home. It's almost like the glue that kind of holds everything together in some places. And it really helps to emphasize on the riffs. And I think it's something that you should definitely not overlook. Listen to it, kind of take it in, and understand that this is a new thing that because of Andreas's classical training on the guitar, I think they've really got this to pull from. And it just shows you how well his um, diverse range of influences are. Also with Andreas's guitar playing, I think that his solos are probably the most focused I've ever heard. And what I mean is, I think he's really put the time into choosing the right notes, making sure that these notes are the right notes that fit to this solo, rather than just doing a bunch of crazy you know, styles and techniques and then throwing a wah over top over it and kind of covering it up. It's very clear that what he's doing has worked, but this works just as much if as any other other technique or any other solo that he's done. Um, <clears throat> really, really can't say enough about the guitar playing on this record. I think for Andreas to pull this out and and put together this strong of a record, which to me after a, you know the last couple of records really didn't kind of catch my attention, this is a huge, huge win for Sepultura. So I would suggest definitely heading over to the Nuclear Blast website, whether you're in U.S. or Europe or wherever you're at, ordering this record, or if you have to get it on eBay, or if you have to go to the Sepultura socials and check out what stores carry this, definitely get on top of that. Um, I also just picked up the dual LP. I got the special edition one that glows in the dark that will be here next week. Mm. I will share some photos of that when I get that. And I want to remind you guys, Sepultura is going on tour starting, I think, next month with Sacred Reich and Crowbar. So be sure to check out all their social media sites for the tour dates. Get on board with that. Go, go to the show. Take a bunch of photos uh, and post those. Tag me, and I'll, I'd love to see them, and I'll definitely like those and share them along. And I got the VIP tickets. So I'm going to have a meet and greet with them, which is great. I'm going to get my record signed. Can't wait. Super excited for April. It's April 7th, I think, is when the show is. Can't remember. I've got it written down somewhere. So, yeah, if I had to say this was record of the year so far, I would definitely say so. But it's only February. We still got plenty of time to go. Other bands will be putting out new records, too, so I'm not going to say it's album of the year just yet, but definitely a contender. So be sure to check that out. Also, uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. If you agree, disagree, if you have any suggestions guitar cover wise, or maybe you want to hear a review on a, sp a specific album, please send me a direct message or feel free to comment in the section down below for the comments. And <clears throat> outside of that, don't forget to follow, subscribe and hit the notification button. I appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you so much for watching this. And that's pretty much it. So check back here in a few days. Hopefully I'll have a new guitar cover for you. And don't forget, Exhorter's going on tour with Overkill starting this month on tour right now. Head over to Exhorter.com. Check out the tour dates. Go tell them Steve P sent you. If you see Marzi, tell him I said what's up. And uh, buy a shirt, man. Buy a record. Don't forget, support metal music, man. It's on the rise. Alrighty, guys, that is it. There you go. I will be talking with you very soon. Alrighty, man. Stay heavy. We'll see you next time. Later.